it is and what it ain't. This show brother, J International, back at it once again. I know it's been a while, my people, but due to the traveling and moving around, it has been hard for me to set up shop. But nevertheless, your brother is back. So with that being said, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. In order to show your support to your brother, go ahead and like and share this video as well. So today, what I want to talk about is the life for most black men in America. But not all, not all because nothing is absolute, but for most black men in America is an accumulation of doing a bunch of things that we really don't want to do, but we have to do to survive. So I'm going to give a few examples of these things that we have to do as black men in our lives in the matrix. So starting with number one, most black men we are told by our elders and our parents, our parent, that what we need to do is go to school so we can get a good job, right? I know most of us uh, have heard that, but you know, that's not, that's not good or accurate advice nowadays. It may have worked back in the 50s and the 60s, it may be even the 70s, but now we in 2020, a new decade, and we can't just be going to school and so we can go to college so we can get a good job. It don't, it don't work like that no more, you know, with with automation and, you know, uh, the outsourcing of jobs overseas. We need specific instructions as far as work and, you know, what, we're, what we should do. You know, we need sp specific guidance, right? And so we need to be directed to what we should go to school for, right? So we should be told that, okay, given the, the current ec economy, there are certain things that we should major in. We should be going to school for tech or engineering or mathematics, you know, something along that line. But we should not just be going to school just to, just to go to school, you know. We need, you ne we need guidance, right? And so... I, I suggest that the whole paradigm is in, in telling us just to go to school, just to go to school, to get a good job, that needs to be changed, right? Because what, what ends up happening is that we will end up working a job we really didn't want, but we have to because we got to survive, right? Because we may have got a, a, a useless degree in sociology or plant science or the the mating of ants or the mating of um, sunflowers I don't know you know but that that in that that leads us to you know having degrees that we can't use in in the market being ridden with student debt and having to work a dead-end job just to pay that debt off and get by, right? So that's number one. Now let's go to example number two. Living at places we really didn't want to live. And so, you know, uh, 
coming up in the urban environment as most black males will come up in and for most millennials and gen generation z you know we will we will probably end up being raised in single parent homes and so being raised in those single parent homes we often find ourselves living in places that we really did not want to live in you dig living in in the ghetto living in the projects you know the hood you know that's that's you know that that that's what usually happens when we come up in these single parent home environments you know so that's example number two now example number three driving a car that we really didn't want but needed to get from A to B you know we may want a nicer car we may want a a newer car but we find ourselves due to the economic situation that we have placed ourselves in or that circumstances that has placed us in we find ourselves driving a car that we really didn't want now don't get me wrong any car that gets you from A to B is great you know any car but you know just to have a nice just a nice reliable car it doesn't have to be no Bentley or no Rolls Royce or Bugatti but something nice and reliable and that's going to last and preferably foreign you know that's all that's all a brother wants you know that's all we need right and so let's go to example number four we end up messing and dealing with women we really don't lust for but just settled for because we didn't want to be alone we have to learn to be alone men we cannot for the fear of being alone place ourselves in situation with women that we really don't want and really don't lust for because what can happen is we end up with something that we really don't want like an unplanned child or children with the woman that we really didn't want to have that child or children with so but we we find ourselves in ending up settling most times we find ourselves you know if we want to deal with another race a non-black woman we find ourselves settling for the least of the other race races of women the women that those men and those races don't even want that's what we find ourselves doing and that is something that we have to change you know my OG once told me he said he said some very powerful words that just stuck with me to this day he said if I can't have what I want, then I don't want nothing at all. And we got to be like that, man. We got to be like, if we can't have what we want, hey, we don't want nothing at all. We don't we don't need, we don't want it. We just going to be alone either until, we, until what we want comes along or shit, might be alone indefinitely. But it's better than that, it's better that than to be, you know, end up with a woman that you really didn't want and you really don't lust for and you end up getting this woman pregnant and now there goes your life there goes your life because now you are attached to that woman for life unless you plan it on being a deadbeat father and skipping the country you know which I ain't with you know I feel like even though you didn't want that situation 
you know, you got to be a man, man. You got to you gotta own up to your responsibilities, you know, because you don't want C's out there running around that, you you know, that has that has a, a hate for you or that has animosity towards you, you know. You don't want that situation. So with all that being said, my brothers, my, my brothers out there, we must remain optimistic and not focus our energy on things we cannot control, but focus that energy on things that we can control. So with that being said, this your brother Jay International tapping in once again. Go ahead, like, like this video, share it, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.